The excitement surrounding the Sony FX32 isn't just fueled by wishful thinking. It's based on credible leaks, insider discussions, and regulatory filings that all point toward a Mark II model in active development. The timeline many expect places its arrival toward late 2025, which could make it one of the most anticipated cinema camera releases of the year. What makes this moment so intriguing is Sony's clear opportunity to fix what many consider the FX3's shortcomings while pushing the design into an era where compact cinema cameras need to do more than ever before. The original FX3 carved out a loyal following thanks to its compact form factor, cage-free design, and impressive low-light capabilities. But it was also seen as incomplete by some. Missing features like internal RAW recording, open gate capture, and advanced exposure tools that many creators now consider essential. The FX32, if rumors are accurate, won't just be an incremental update. Instead, it could be the camera that cements Sony's position at the front of the compact cinema lineup, combining portability with professional-grade features that rival much larger systems. Sony's FX32 is widely expected to carry forward the design philosophy that made the FX3 so appealing, while introducing refinements that improve usability. The FX3's ability to mount accessories without an external cage was a major highlight, and Sony may expand this with stronger mounting points and improved weather sealing for more demanding environments. Subtle but meaningful adjustments to button placement and ergonomics are also rumored, making the FX32 even easier to operate for long shoots. Cooling is one area where Sony could deliver a major upgrade. The FX3 relied on an internal fan, which was effective but not always ideal in quiet shooting conditions. Reports suggest the FX32 might debut a refined fan system, or potentially a fanless cooling design. For documentary filmmakers and content creators who work in controlled audio environments, quieter cooling would be a welcome change. Another area of speculation is the articulating screen. Borrowing from Sony's newer Alpha cameras, the FX32 might feature a fully flexible LCD that tilts, flips, and rotates without interference from top-mounted cables or accessories. For solo shooters, vloggers, and run-and-gun creators, this would add real-world practicality. Perhaps the most exciting rumor is the possible integration of built-in ND filters. Traditionally found in larger cinema cameras, this feature could dramatically streamline indie and documentary workflows. Rather than stacking filters on the front of lenses, filmmakers could simply adjust exposure with an internal system keeping setups lightweight and efficient. When it comes to imaging, Sony seems poised to move beyond the FX3's 12.1 megapixel sensor. A 6K sensor is the most likely upgrade, offering sharper detail and more flexibility in post-production without the heavy drawbacks of 8K. This would strike a balance between resolution and practicality while preserving the clean low-light performance that made the FX3 so popular. Some whispers even suggest the possibility of a global shutter, eliminating rolling shutter distortion entirely. While this would be a huge advantage for action, sports, or drone cinematography, trade-offs in dynamic range make it less certain. Still, even without a global shutter, faster readout speeds and higher frame rates are almost guaranteed. Autofocus will likely see one of the biggest jumps, with Sony's AI-driven subject recognition from the Alpha 1 and A9 III trickling down into this model. Expect smarter face, eye, and subject tracking that adapts to unpredictable conditions. Perfect for solo operators who don't have a dedicated focus puller. Two headline features stand out in particular. Open gate recording and internal raw capture. Open gate allows the full 3.2 sensor area to be recorded, giving creators more flexibility to adapt footage across multiple platforms, from widescreen to vertical, without sacrificing quality. Internal RAW recording would eliminate the need for bulky external recorders, a massive benefit for those who prioritize mobility. Additional enhancements could include 32-bit float audio support with Sony's XLR module, ensuring recordings remain clean and unclipped even in unpredictable environments. Filmmakers may also see in-camera false color tools, stronger LUT integration, and even preloaded cinematic LUTs designed for direct use with S-Log3 workflows. These tools would further elevate the FX32 from a compact cinema camera to a serious professional option capable of handling high-level productions. Altogether, the FX32 is shaping up to be less of a refresh and more of a statement piece. Sony's answer to the growing competition from brands like Panasonic and Blackmagic, and a bold step toward giving creators a compact system with truly uncompromised performance. 
The Sony FX32 is not just rumored to be an incremental step forward. It's shaping up to be a defining leap in the world of compact cinema cameras. Where the FX3 delivered portability and strong low-light performance but left gaps in professional features, the FX32 seems positioned to close those gaps and elevate the line into something much more complete. For creators who crave flexibility, tools like open gate recording and internal raw capture could transform the way they shoot. Add to that the potential for built-in ND filters, advanced autofocus, 32-bit float audio, and new monitoring options, and the FX32 starts to look like a filmmaker's dream in a small, rugged package. But beyond the rumored specs, what really excites filmmakers is Sony's clear understanding of where the market is heading. Content today is not just about cinematic widescreen, it's also about vertical, square, and multi-platform distribution. By equipping the FX32 with open gate and flexible workflows, Sony could make it the perfect tool for modern creators who need versatility without compromise. For those already invested in Sony's e-mount system, the FX32 could feel like the natural next step, blending familiarity with fresh innovations. And for filmmakers outside the ecosystem, it has the potential to be a compelling reason to make the switch. The FX32 could redefine what it means to shoot with a compact cinema camera, blurring the line between small form factor convenience and professional level performance. What do you think? Will the FX32 live up to its promise? Share your thoughts and dream features with us in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching Technify.